Now that Clark Anderson and his friends are here, let's stretch out and get unpacked for a nice day of kayaking. There are bridges to help, and the water seems to be flowing. Here at the foot of the Andes Mountains in South America, it seems we're in for a heck of a ride. There's rushing white water and some nice drops. Then there are wickedly unbelievable drops that you're lucky to get out of with your life. Want to see it again? No big deal. Let's just keep going. You'd think they'd learn the basics, like the fact that they need to actually breathe at some point. It's hard to say what keeps these guys going, but they always seem to have a smile on their face. Or is that a grimace of terror? I can't tell. This is magical. Watch as this kayaker appears, then disappears, then reappears. Bravo! These drops are undeniably sick. But what these guys are up to defies the imagination. Why is he smiling? I think I'd be crying. I doubt they'd put in here. It just seems too steep and too fast. Someone could really get hurt. Check that. Nut job number one, ready for takeoff. Oh, he chickens out. Never mind, Striper's ready to go. And he's off. And he's capsized. And he's not turning over. Just in the nick of time, he writes himself. A really strong case could be made that these guys are insane, hedonistic thrill seekers with no regard for their personal safety or the safety of their friends. But that doesn't mean they're not really, really good at what they do, because they are. Is your heart out of your throat yet? I didn't think so. Watch this. When is he going to get out of this mess? Helps on its way. Ole! Pop the ejection. Unbelievable. Somebody better go get that boat. 